I'm Katie Lindendahl, Decider.com, New York Comic Con's official correspondent, and we are chatting with the cast and crew of The Man in the High Castle before they take the stage here at New York Comic Con. Man is only as strong as the people around him, and for them, he must give everything. Heading into season two, how in the world do we up the ante from here? Well, this year, all the rug's been pulled out from all of us. We are on the run, we are doing bad things, we some of us are in the resistance, some of us are being dragged into the resistance. Last year we spent this season establishing the world, and this year it's crumbling beneath us. Everything changes, everyone's world changes, everyone's environment changes. Huge, huge surprises in store, I would say. My name is Juliana Crane. They need asylum. Is it making nervous sometimes when you're speaking about, you know, the premise of the show and, and Nazis and what if Hitler did win the war? I think what the show does so beautifully is that it holds a funhouse mirror up to our own society. So it addresses a lot of the problems that we have here with racism, misogyny, class. I'm very proud of what the show says about our lives and what we should be doing and how we should be treating each other with equality and respect. You know I need no charges to order your death. It's hard not to draw parallels, but I prefer to leave it to the to the viewer to, to draw those parallels themselves. Given that it's uh, we're creating a world uh, that is under incredible repression and uh, fascist leadership, it's stunning how much uh, they are struggling in many ways with things we are struggling with today. This isn't the man I want to be. I think the show is its own entity, and I think that the storytelling kind of arises out of the novel that Philip K. Dick wrote and the incredible characters that he created and that the writers, the brilliant writers of this show have added on to that. But obviously the world we live in can't help but inform what we're doing uh, in a creative endeavor. Like the root of terrorism, for example. Terrorism are people acting out because they feel like they can't do anything else. It's the only way to have their voice heard is through violence. And so the resistance this year on the show starts to do, they start to plan what basically are terrorist attacks. But yeah. these are issues that have been with us for all times, but they're really coming to a fore now, presently in our real world. They have headed on stage, so you can actually head on over to Decider.com to check out more.